uh, I so much appreciate the opportunity given to me by this um, Royal Q family. My name, once again, is uh, Olani Ezekiel, aka Nayuzek. Uh, I must appreciate everyone in this court tonight because it is a privilege to have me on board. And let me tell you something, my dear brothers and sisters, whatever we are doing in life, let us keep doing it. There is a reward for it, I know. And I'm not doing this just for me to have a, a physical reward now, but I'm doing it just to assist because I might as well need other people's help tomorrow. So we are doing this for the glory of God. So uh, without taking much of your time this night, uh, let me first of all uh, apologize for what happened last, last week. During our last, uh, last week class, it was unfortunate that I had a uh, uh, unfavorable network. So, but today I believe it's going to be the other way around. So we are going to enjoy the class based on the little knowledge I have. So I welcome every one of us to this uh, meeting and I pray we pick something from, the, from tonight's class. And it's going to go a long way in our trading and in our day-to-day -day life. Because during the class, I will be talking about personal experience, which we can all learn from. I'm still learning. So we can never stop to learn. So please, just bear with me. If you are not getting along, maybe uh, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not passing the message the way I'm supposed to pass it. But just try, try as much as possible to understand me. So I want to know if you can hear me loud and clear. Please quickly type yes. Yes, I want to see your yes on the chat box. Please, if you can hear me loud and clear, let me hear, let me see your yes so that we can start tonight's class properly. Okay. The button I've gotten to. Okay. Oh, good. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, I believe uh, we, the announcement has been made for like almost a week now or thereabouts. And during the announcement, during the announcement, during the hello, during the announcement, um, uh, the announcements go with the list of items or tools we might need that we need, not that we might need, that we actually need for this uh, uh, for this class for us to go on. What we really want to work with. So I will assume that we have already gotten those those tools, and I will name them once again for those who are just joining us for the first time if they have the opportunity to download them right now and still being in the class, it will have been better. So the names of those applications or tools are, number one, your Royal Q app. I know we all have that on our phones. Then uh, number uh, second one is Lunar Crush app. The third one is Crypto uh, Bubble. Then um, we have Binance, then Crypto Panic. Investing.com is an app. No miss. Actually, in investing.com was not among the one I mentioned last week. But you know, as day day to day activities that we, we got engaged into, we got to know or come about new new application that can help our trade. So that is why you have today investing.com as one of the applications that we might need and that has been helping our one short strategy. So I believe we all, we all have that. And for those who don't have that for now. They should try as much as possible to get them ready. Now, we are going to start by the first and the wonderful application that we have, which is uh, our Royal Q robot uh, application. Now, I will, I will share my screen with you to show you, to show you how to use your Royal Q as a tool why you want to select a particular coin to trade be it uh, uh, one shot or in the nearest future, because we are still going to go back to our circle. But this one shot is going to prepare laws and prepare us very well for the next circle we are going to get engaging. So, uh, just a minute. So now I'm trying to share my screen with you. 
please if you can see my screen let, can i can i see your chat say just write screen so that we know that you have you can see my screen so just write screen if you can see my screen just write screen i want to see okay 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 that's good that's good all right all right okay let's go back to the first two that i mentioned the first two that i mentioned which is royal q royal q but, but first and foremost let me tell you something behind this uh, royal q if you have already launched your Royal Q application before now, please do the needful. Close it. If you have launched your Royal Q before now, do what I'm about to do now. Just close your Royal Q app like this. Close it all from your tab and relaunch it. I have a reason for that. I have a very cogent and strong reason for that. So. I need you to relaunch it like this. If you have been opening your real queue, because somebody like me, I do open my real queue every 10, 10, 20, 20 minutes. There is no time you will see me on WhatsApp that I'm online, that I'm not on real queue. There is one there is a reason for that. So if you're on real queue before, or you, you have launched it recently, close it before you relaunched. If you want to do the practical as I'm doing it with you right now. So now, if you have launched it now, if you have relaunched, this is what I need you to do. Go straight to your quantitative. We all know how quantitative. For the sake of those people who just activate their, their boats. Excuse me, please. Just hold on a bit. So now I want to I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Okay. Now this is your quantitative. This is your quantitative. This is your quantitative. This is where you are going to click for tonight. I believe you have all clicked this place. This is where you're going to click tonight. So once you are there. Please, I don't want our results to be deeper from each other because I'm going to ask you a question. And I want us to have the same result as you are giving me back the, uh, the question I'm asking, as you are giving me the answer. I want you to, you know, give me the correct, what the correct uh, uh, coin that I'm seeing right away on my screen is what I believe that you should be getting as well. That's why I asked you to close your um, real key if you have been on it for a while or recently. Now, when you see this quantitative, you click it. Then after clicking quantitative, your coin will load like this. You will have your genera like this, and you'll have your professional. Under professional, I mean, under general, you will have a default. You'll see default. You'll see default, this default, okay? After default, you see your volume. After volume, you see price change up and down. I mean, you see price, then the next thing is change. Change is what we want to deal with. Change is what we are dealing with this night. So now, how do we use this change to determine the coin you can trade, either as a, as a one-shot coin or in the nearest future as a, a circle coin that you, you really want to go into? Now, this is how to use this change. Remember that my, my general a coin there is a default highlighted make sure your own is highlighted if it's not highlighted click that default it will become real default uh, uh menu now when you have a default menu like this then click on your change this change this change click on it click on it when you click on it when you click on it you will see something like this you know we have have slash usdt is the best performing coin on royal q now even though in the uh, uh, on royal q coins now because royal q only have 70 coins through binance we hope it has some numbers of coin as well um coinbase pro has some numbers of coin as well 
Now we want to use this change to determine the coin, that the best coin that you can venture you to right away. If let's assume you want to enter, you want to get engaged in a uh, one shot now without anybody's support. So you will want to use this change to determine, to determine, sorry, to determine the coin you can venture into. Now you've click, you've click on your chain. It's telling you this is in descending order. That is why you have the down arrow painted black. The down arrow is painted black. Now that is not what we need. We actually need the one that is less performing. That the, the, the percentage change, this percentage change that you see here, that you see here, that you see here, is in negative or lower than what we are seeing now. The least one, the least one among them is the coin you want to choose. Because that coin, the reason why we are choosing the least performing coin is the fact that that coin is, that percentage change is telling you that this coin has already been, that was the time the coin is at the um, all time high. A-T-H, all time high. Uh, during the afternoon write up class, I was trying to give us some tips how you can use some terms and terminologies, how you can be familiar with them. So A-T-H stands for all time high. Now, these are the coins that have been performing for the past 24 hours. These are the percentage change. The highest, the height they have gone to, the higher level they have reached. Now, we are not going to use the high performing coin because this coin, if you are using have right now, a lot of buyers or traders in this coin might have been preparing to take their profits. So leaving you in the trade will be dumb. They are going to dump the coin on you when you enter this kind of trade right now. When you enter, when you try to enter this kind of a trade now, you will be dumb. The coin will be dumped on you. So that is not where we are going. Where we are going is now. When you tap, when you tap this, when you tap this, um, this change again, you know you've tapped it once. That is why it's giving you the high performing coin in descending order. Now we want it in ascending order. You tap the change again. This change, this change, tap it again. When you tap it again, you tap it. It will change the arrow up or, up or down. I mean, up, upside down. Now, when you tap it like this, you see the coin has changed. Under general, that is where I am. Under general, the coin has changed. Telling me the less performing coin at the moment. And the less performing coin at the moment is B, C, H on my screen. Now, I want to know if you are actually with me. Tell me the name of the coin you are seeing on your screen. I want to know the name of the coin you are seeing on your screen. Just write it in the chat box. I want to know, compared to what I'm having and compared to others in the meeting tonight. I want to see what you have, what you have, the coin you have there, I want to see it. Just type the coin, the name of the coin you have. I want to see it yeah. so that you will know why I asked us, why I asked us to, okay, BS, BCH, good. That is what I have then. I want more, I want more answer, more answer, yeah. more answer. Please, let's be fast. Because we see, okay, good, BSH, BCH, BCH, okay, good. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you. Definitely, you guys are following. Now, I love that. I love that. Now, you have BSH, BCH, rather. You have, that is by, uh, BTC, uh, Bitcoin Cash. Now, Bitcoin Cash. The next less performing coin at the moment is Monero, which is XMR. This is Monero. This is the less performing coin. How do I know? Look at this percentage. Is 0 0.27. Look at this one. Is 0 0.15. This one is lesser than this. This one is greater than this. It's telling me this is the less performing in uh, 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 layman time. We can say we can say that they are performing woefully. At times you will see this place a minus. When it is a minus, my dear brother, you are in business. It's actually telling you this coin has got to almost the floor level when you check your candle. Now we'll get there. So now. The same thing happens when you check your professional. When you click on professional, on professional coins, you, you are still on the uh, up arrow like this. You have the less performing coin at XLM, XLM. And the next one is, uh, what's it called? Is a SHIB. SHIB is the less performing, second less performing coin on professional. Now, let us pick the one from general, which is, which is um, which is uh, BCH, BCH, this BCH, let's pick it. 
Now it's in minus. Thank you. Now the coin is telling us that it's actually going down. Now we have minus 0.21 on BCH. Why we have minus 0 0.08 on XMR? Now, how do we confirm that this coin, you can actually go for it? That comes to the next two that you actually need, which is one, you move to uh, Luna Crush. Now, let's go to Luna Crush. Everybody, switch your Luna Crush. Switch to your Luna Crush app. Switch to your Luna Crush app. Let's go to Luna Crush. Luna Crush. Luna Crush. Launch it. I want to show you something. Luna Crush. This is my own Luna Crush. I'm launching it right away. I'm launching it right away. So now, okay. Yeah, here is my Luna Crush app. Now, why do we need this Luna Crush? Luna Crush is an app that predicts, that tells you the performance of a coin every day. One o'clock, 1 p.m. Nigerian time, they tell you a particular coin as their coin of the day. That coin is meant to be pumped for the next 24 hours, right from 12, 1 p.m. But at times, the coin they, they, they listed as top uh, coin of the day do get our money stock. Because whenever you enter the coin of the day, it's just a brief. I just want to brief you on that coin of the day. That's not where we are going. If you like, this is Discover. It is under Discover, you'll find the coin of the day. This is the coin of the day. This is the coin of the day. And they said Ocean Protocol is the coin of the day. I don't think we have that on uh, Royal Q. But whenever we have a coin that is listed on Royal Q as coin of the day, my dear brother, don't trade it immediately. It was launched or it was called around that 1 p.m. That is what I do. I don't do any other thing than that. There's no magic. There's no rocket science anywhere. It's only that understanding and patience is what crypto uh, trading needs. You need to understand it, then the patient will be with it. Now, this the reason why I said we should not enter the coin they call by 1 p.m. I have once trade. Uh, they are 1 p.m. coin, and I got stuck for like 48 or three days before the coin came out. Now, the best time to trade their coin of the day is between 7 p.m. and 12 midnight. That's the, that's, that's, that's the best time to trade their coin of the day. That is that on their coin of the day. Now, we are talking about BCH. Now, you look at this place. There is top 10 coin. We want to confirm. We want to confirm. If we have BCH as their top 10, which you will probably not see it there because it's a less performing coin. It's a less performing coin. You will not see it. Let's, let's, let's see. Number one is Bitcoin. This one, Ethereum, Dogecoin. Then you scroll, sorry. When you scroll like this, you see Pancake. You see Texos, STZ. You see Sheep. You see Save Moon. You see Baby Dodge, you see Cardano, you see Raribu. You see now, that's their top 10 coin. Now, we we'll proceed further. So far, we didn't see it here. Let's check if we are going to see it on... The reason why we don't see it on their top 10 is because those top 10 coins that you are seeing, they are performing already. They are in the market. Sheep has been away a bit. It's coming back. That is why you are able to see it here. It's not the least performing on Royal Q. That's why you see sheep. You saw sh you are seeing sheep as number six performing coin. That's why you are seeing sheep. So some people will be doubting that. I thought I saw sheep as second less performing coin. Yes, you can see, it, but you might not see the, the least one that performed uh, 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 that has the highest negative sign on Royal Q on their top ten. But it's possible for you to see it where we are going next and where are we going. You click on market. This market. This market. We want to check for this coin. I believe you are all following. I believe you are following. So you click after this. I will ask us a question again. So be prepared. Now you click on market. Now I click on market. My market will display the list of their coin from one to hundred. Hundred coin will be listed here, starting from the highest performing, which is Bitcoin. Bitcoin current price is $40,600, 48 cents. 
And Bitcoin is telling us at this moment on this app that is on minus 0.1%. That one is not our duty. It's not what, why we are here. That, their own calculation is different from where we are coming from. So now we are looking for BCH. BCH. So you start scrolling down. Check if you can see BCH. 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 We are looking for BCH. BCH. This is 53. BCH. 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 82. Still don't find BCH. 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 Okay, we are more than 100 now. We don't still have a uh, um, BCH. We don't have BCH. One to 100. Now, this is actually passing a message. And what was the message? The message is BCH has gone down below what they can read. Yes, it has gone down below what they can read. If you keep on scrolling, you will still see it. Maybe between 100 and 200, you will see it. Now, when you see this BCH, when you see this BCH, so because we don't see it now, I want, us, I want to show us something. BC, BCH is the coin we are looking for. Now, you click on it. When you search for it, I assume we find it on the one, one to 100 list. Now, you have to make this place, make it all time rank, all time rank, all time rank. Change it to all time rank, all time rank. Matrix. You change it to all time ranks under matrix. So make sure you are on all time ranks. Where do you see all time rank? Where, where can you get the all time rank? This is where you can get all time rank. Yeah, click here. It will give you list of the options that you can use. So once you click here, once you click here, it will list it out like this. Then you tick here, tick the all time high, uh, rank here, this place, just tick it. Then you confirm it by pressing done. Put it on all time rank. Now, we want to do that. Now I'm clicking on all time rank and done. Now it's telling me, I want to check the chart, the movement of this chart. And this chart is on one week. This is where you see the week, the, 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 the time, the time frame. We don't need one week. We only need 24 hours. So make sure your home lunar crush is placed or set to one day. One day, you see now it has changed. Look at my own chart. This is what you should be seeing on your screen right now. Now, this is my strength. This is my uh, uh, BCH. The price is $338.40, uh, 40 cent, right? Good. Now I want to check the Galaxy score. How is it performing? Is it a good coin? Is it a high volat uh, volatile coin? Now, how do I do that? I'll come here. Look at this percentage, percentage change of the all time rank. They said it's plus, 101, uh, one, uh, 111, 111. And the uh, all-time rank is 138. It's a good point. Now, low, the highest and the lowest it has ever gotten to per 24 hours is 52, 52.00. 52 then the, low, the highest it has gotten to is 538. The least it has gotten to is 52. That one, you might not understand it. It is based on the market cap. You might not understand it now, but this is another place we need to look into. This is another place we need to look into. Now, who are the people influencing this coin? You see, this might take a long time, but you need to learn it. It might take a longer time. You need to learn it. Once you are able to learn it, uh, uh, going around all this application within 5, 10, 20 minutes won't be a problem. Once you know it, don't be a problem. I can check all this news, all what I'm about to teach you within five minutes and arrive at my own decision. You understand? But it takes a learning. It takes a process. Now, I want to check the top influencer of this coin. Now, number one is Mark Faxon. Now, I'll click on Mark Faxon. I want to check the followers. That's why I'm here. Can Mark Faxon influence the price of this coin to go up? And how will he influence this? Influence, uh, influence the, the price of this coin is by the numbers of people that engage in his post concerning this, uh, BCH. Look at this number, 58 people engage on these four posts concerning uh, BCH. How many people like that post? Look at it, 44. Yes, 
Now, how many followers does this guy have as a follower on social media? It has 11,105. So it is the guy is actually uh, 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 not that uh, uh, popular on social media. I can say that he's not that popular. He's not that popular. Then another thing I will look into if this is the result I'm getting. Another thing I will look into, there is always a question for you. And this is the question. This is the question. Sorry. This is the question. There's always a question for you. This question alone, it is an expo. We call it expo. When you are doing an exam, you are sitting for an exam and somebody is making you to cheat in the exam. It's an expo. They ask you, does Mark Vassin create valuable content? You always click yes. Just click yes. Click yes. Once you click yes, you will see the result of other people voting. Now they said it is hundred percent telling you that this guy actually pro post so many content that a lot of people ventured into and they came out in profit. You saw it. Any voting that is below fifty, my dear brothers and sisters, you need to run away from it. Run away for that coin for that that day. You need to do away with that coin at that moment because it's not going to go anywhere. This is the sentiment of people that are following this guy that is pushing this that is influencing this particular coin. Now, we close that. Then, without wasting much of your time, another thing that you need to check here, another thing that you need to check here is, what is the coming, coming? Okay, you've checked the first, uh, I, the most ranked uh, influencer here. Then you come down here to see, the, a vote for the coin as well. There is a place you are going to vote for that coin. Yeah, this is it. When you scroll down, you see it. This is this is where you can vote for the coin to know what people are saying. Even though if you don't read their news, you don't hear them. Though you want to know through this app if the coin is a good coin that you can venture into. Now, you you come down here to vote again. You come down here to vote again. Now, how do you feel about Bitcoin Cash today? You click on buy. When you click on buy, they give you results. Now, 74.74% of people that are voting said it is going to be on a buy. My dear brothers and sisters, it's a good coin to venture into because a lot of people are voting for your heat. Now, as they are voting, they are also buying it. They ventured into heat. So, don't Think you are the only one that will be in that trade. No, you won't be the only one because if 74% in uh, uh, examination ranking, if you can score 74 or 70 and above, I think is a yeah, uh, is A or B. It's always A. When you have 70 and above, it's A in an in any examination in Nigeria. So I don't I, I didn't know the other uh, part of the award, but as far as Nigeria is concerned, once you can you are able to score 70 and above. You are a distinction student. Now, once you are you, you you've done your own vote, now you have confirmed from Lunar Crush already that it is the coin you can trust for your one shot in the next 24 hours. Good. Now let's consider the uh, other application, which is um crypto bubble. Crypto bubble, crypto bubble, crypto bubble, crypto bubble. Oh, before I get to that, let me ask you my question. Let me ask my question. Let me ask my question. Let me ask my question. Now, my question is, my question is, what percentage I, did I mention that should be the least voting rate or voting percentage that you should not venture into when you see that percentage? What is it? Just write it. Let me see. Write it in your chatting box. The least that you will see on the voting range that you will not be able to enter to engage the coin. Okay, good, good. I've seen, I've seen the first person. Okay, good, good, 50. Okay, yeah, good. Okay, another question goes thus. What is the, uh, what are the, okay, meaning that when you have any coin that is performing above 50, is a good coin to enter. Okay, I don't want to use question to waste our time. Let's go to the next application. The next application is a crypto bubble. So on the list, go to your crypto bubble. I believe we all have it. So on crypto bubble, this is what you are going to see. 
you will be amazed when you text this. Because despite the fact that we have a, a, a network glitch last week, I have been receiving a lot of testimonies from people around the world, not only in Nigeria, from Canada, from Turkey, from Malaysia, and uh, I think Australia. There's a, there's a guy that called me from Australia. I don't know who registered them. They called me, they chats me. In fact, we are very close online now. They, they, they ask for, they, 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 they sell me some list of coin. If they can go into it, then I'll, I'll verify it for them. So, and I'm so happy. Despite the fact that the network was so bad, they still pick little things and they make use of it. I have seen someone that sent me the result of what she has done on her own. And I was so, so, so encouraged because uh, the, the network did its own, but they, they, they were able to make use of the little opportunity they have last week. So this is our Nuna crush. This is our Nuna crush. Now we are looking for BCH. Now all coins seems to be doing good. Fine, we have green color. Now we are not, not, none of them is bleeding. Even though if you have the one that are bleeding, maybe they are not on this screen or they might be very small. Now we can't find, I don't think we can find the BCH on the big size. Look at the big size. The size of this bubble is telling you how far, how fat, how touched, how pumped they've pumped individual uh, coin that is in the crypto world. They have pumped them, they, like this GMT now. This GMT has been pumped. So I wouldn't expect anybody to go into GMT right now because it's pumped, it has been pumped already. So waiting for the traders to take profit. So if you go into it, it will be dumped on you. Now we are looking for BCH. I don't think we can find it here. If you can't find it to, to save our time, just click on this search arrow. Search arrow. It will list all the coin in the crypto world for you like this. Now, search, just write BCH. There's something we want to check. Now, it has bring it out. It's out now. This is it. Click on it. Click on the coin. Click on the coin. So look at the chart. This is one day chart. There are some days, there are some uh, time frame that I don't use on Lunar Crush and the Crypto Bubble. There are some time frame I don't use, which is one weekly because I don't trade for a week. I don't expect my trade to last for one week. But it is Bitcoin that will determine if the coin or one shot will go beyond one day, two days, or one week, eventually one week or two weeks. Because it is, we are trading the movement of Bitcoin in altcoins. Not that we are trading, we are trading altcoin directly. We are trading the movement of Bitcoin in altcoin. If you don't know, get that now. So now, I only make use of day. You can see it, day. This is day. So sorry. This is day. This is day. I make use of monthly charts and probably the yearly charts. Now, because I want to get out of the uh, uh, one shot quickly, what I do is I will click on that day. It's already on the day chart. Now, this is the day chart. Look at it. If my side, if my left hand side uh, chart, the swing between the left hand chart and the right hand chart, which is this side, this side, this side, and this side. This is my left, this is my right. This is my right. Now, if this place is higher, if what I'm seeing here, especially this place, this place, this last region, this last region, let me show you again. This last region is higher than what is here, Enti sorry, what is here entirely. If this place is higher than this, I won't venture into that coin. I won't, I won't. But as it is now, it's a go, uh, it's a green light for me. It's a coin that I can venture into right now. I can open a one shot on this coin right now without further uh, confirmation. I can open a one shot now. But for you to confirm further, this is the only thing you, you need Lunar Crush to do for you. Now, how do you use the monthly? The monthly, because I really want to, I was trying to close it, but before I close it, let me tell you why I do use day and monthly. This monthly chart, when you click on it, look at it. I want to see how far has this coin got to in terms of the highest all-time high. Now, this is it. This is, there might be another mini for this, but this is what I'm using it for. How high has it gone to this month, this month, this particular month? Now, 
how do I know? How do I know? This is what I look for. You see it now? You see, you, you, are you looking at this place? Now, I want to use one arrow. Be very, be very patient with it and open your eyes to see what I'm about to show you now at this very point in time. Now, now I want to, I want to, I want to bring out a ruler. Now, when you click the half like this, you see this coin, you, you can see the point moving. As I'm moving my hand on the screen, it's telling me how the coin is being moved in price. Now, this is the time it has done $379. Now it goes down within that month. Then it, and when was it? When was the time? It was March 29. When was this 379? It was last month, March 23, 2022, around 12 a.m. in the night. Now, then this again, this all time I again is 378. When it was on 28, I think, yes, 28. 28, 2022, 28th of March, 6 p.m. Then this all time I that the lunar crush app is actually talking about, you know, you can see a, a green point pointing to where it actually it uh, has actually recorded the highest all time high. You can see it, this green point. This is where when it has actually recorded all time high. That is why you have that point there. And when did you have the all-time low? This is it. This is it. At $295 for this month, for the, for the past one month, not this month alone, including last month and this month. Now, he's telling me, so how fast? How fast is it possible or is it convenient for this coin to be able to recover from this all-time low? All-time low. Now, if you look at this, my ruler again, I will place it on that last time. Last time. Okay. Is that now? You see now, like 295 on the uh, April 12th. Now, April 12th. April 12th is when? April 12th, around 1 a.m. in the night. Now, I will move it again from April 12th. I want to move it to the current, to the uh, all time high time, which is this one. Okay. This is 83. 83, uh, eight, eight, I mean 386, 386. 386 happens around April 1st. Between April 1st and this, and this April, April 12th. April 1st and April 12th. Is that many days? 11 days. Telling you that even though you've ventured into this coin and it doesn't recover in the next 24 hours, in the next 48 hours, within seven days, it's going to recover. Because look at what it's doing now. From April 12th till today, which, is, which happens to be uh, um, uh, April 19. April 19. This coin has recovered almost 50% of the dip it has got into from the last uh, all time high. It has recovered. Telling you this coin will go down and come down and come up, and come up within a little while. So now you are, we are heading somewhere. Now, just to give you the, 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 uh, the speed or the average movement of this coin at a particular time, that is why we need the, that is why I'm making use of the month. But I only use the daily chart to determine which side is the all-time low and the all-time high of this coin. Is it good for me to venture into it as the coin got in to the last bottom? If the coin is like this, if the coin is like this, on one daily chart, if the coin is like this, on daily charts, if it's like this on daily chart, I'll venture into it. But if this place is around here, and this place is around here, I will leave it. Because this coin has already been pumped at this point. At this point, it has been pumped. It has been pumped already. There's nothing you're going to do. You're going to stay in that market for a very long time. Though you will get out, but you're going to stay in that market for a very long time. So, so far, this side is higher than this. So it's a good coin to enter. Now, that is that on Crypto Bubble. Then we move to the next application. I won't ask question on that because it's not that uh, technical. Now, I will move to the, to the, uh, to the Baba of the, uh, of the tools. I call it Baba in the sense that it all, that is where all our findings is coming to reality. That is where you have your asset, which is Binance. So we are moving to Binance. We are moving to Binance. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
Let me close this. Okay, we are moving to Binance. This is Binance. Launching my Binance, that's the next tools. I've mentioned one, two, three, four. I'm the fourth one now. This is the fourth uh, application on our list or the fourth uh, tools on our list. Now, when we get to Binance, that time that we were checking Lunar Crush, you could see that the price of Bitcoin is 41. I'm heading somewhere telling you the price of Bitcoin right now. This is the price, current price of Bitcoin against VUSD. You know, we were trading with uh, USDT. The little difference between this price, uh, uh, BTC slash USDT and BTC slash BUSD is just 0.07% deeper. You can quote me any, anywhere. Do your calculation whenever you check, compare the two together, you can only see the difference of 0.07% different between the two. So I can make use of this to, de to determine the movement of Bitcoin on USDT. I will only have in mind 0.07% change between the two. So now, that is not where we are going to, but I just, I'm just trying to tell us what you can gain from getting a price directly from your own homepage on, uh, on uh, uh, Binance. Because Bitcoin is the driver of every altcoin. If Bitcoin goes down, the whole market goes down. They go bleeding. They go down to bleeding. If Bitcoin goes up, they also go green. You also have green light. So meaning that Bitcoin is the central bank, though it is a decentralized coin that we're trading, decentralized asset or exchange or uh, coins that we are dealing with. But that is a particular driver that drives them, which is Bitcoin. So now, I've checked the price of Bitcoin. Then when we went on Lunar Crush, I want to buttress this. When we were on Lunar Crush, Bitcoin was 40,600. I wouldn't know if you, if, you, if you are following it. It was 40,600. Telling you that Bitcoin has appreciated from 40,600 to 41,300. Now, that particular coin that we were following, that BCH, now the percentage change will have increased. Telling you that people has got engaged on it. But don't worry. You will have your perfect trade soon. So we'll go to, um, where are we going to next? Is your trade. We want to go and check our candle. We want to check our candle. We want to check our candle. So you click on trade on Binance. Once you click on trade on Binance, then you click on trade like this. It opens later, 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 later. Okay. Now, this is, we have Bitcoin or any other thing that you, have, you might have searched on your, uh, Royal Q before, um, Binance before. Now we are talking about BCH. I was searching for BCH, BCH. Now I want to check the candle of BCH. Now BCH is 336.9 cents currently. Now this that's not where I'm going to, though it is the price that I want to trade, but I want to check the candle. If it is a go, uh, uh, a green light candle for me. Now what I will do is, um, I will um, click this, this, is where I'm going to see my candle. This is where you will see your candlestick. Good. Now, I'll click it. I want to see my candle. I want to see my chart. Now, this chart is in, um, let me put it on. Okay, I want candle is not line. Okay, this is a candlestick. Now, the first thing I will check, the first candlestick that I will check is the day, 24 hours. That's the day. Now, look at it. Look at the, the movement of this coin. Look at the movement of this coin like this. It has been moving like this, like this for every 24 hours. Look at it. When do we have the highest, I mean, all time high? When do we have the all time high? We have it here. We have it here. We have it here. This is it. This is it. 391.2, all time high. And when was that? We don't need it anyway. We don't need it. So once you see, when once we see it like this, this is our target. The last coin, the last um, the last candle, which is the red candle. This is the last candle is our target. The last candle. And why is it our target? I do make use of two uh, indicators. I don't make use of this this because I'm not a technical analyst. I'm of fundamental and sentiment, and that has been helping a little while. So I wouldn't know, maybe if the market is balanced, 
if we come back to the normal circle, maybe I won't have a edge over circle trade. Maybe the technical analyst will be the one to be having a hedge, but I don't know anything about uh, technical anal uh, analysts. Uh, then I don't make to uh, make use of two tools from the te technical aspect. And what are those tools? I make use of my Boligua band. So when you click here, you click here, how do you put on your Boligua band? How do you click on your, how do you put on your Boligua band? This is where you click. This Boligua band, I'll put it on. This RSI, I'll put it on. RSI is off now, but I'll put it on. So you will see it when it's on. It will be bold. I'll put it on. When I put it on, you will see the reason why I need RSI. Then every other thing, I will close it. Like this is volume, I will close it. I don't need volume. MA, I will close, I will close it. ME, EMA, I will close it. Every other indicator, I will close them. The only thing, the, only, the two indicators I need is my Boligua band and RSI. It has been working for me perfectly. Seriously, it has been working. And when you put it into practice, you will see that it will, it will work. It will work. It will work. There might be other uh, indicators. There might be other perfect uh, candles. There might be other perfect uh, information that can give you more result than what I'm giving you. But this is what I'm using. I must be honest with you. This is what I'm using. So now, let's just put those indicators on. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Now, my volume. I have it. RSI is on. My Boligua band is on. Now, this is where you're going to see the result of that Boligua band. Now, look at it. You can see um, RSI, rather. Sorry. This is where you're going to see the RSI. I want to show you. This is the RSI. Sorry. I'm always having issues with uh, I'm sorry. Just a bit a, a little time. Okay. Okay, now my uh sorry for that glitch. Um this is where you're going to see your RSI. This is where you're going to see your RSI results. This is it. This is it here. Oh my God. I think I need to move this screen a little bit down. Let me move it down. Okay. Now, okay, we are still making use of the seven uh, of one day can do. Now, this is where you're going to see the result of that. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. Six o'clock. Six. You will see RSI bracket six. Now, what do I need there? What do I need? You see, there is fifty. There is a uh, a figure written there, fifty one point one. He's telling me at this particular time that within the last twenty four hours. Hello, I don't, I wouldn't know if we are still following. Please, if you are following, let me see your chat. Just write yes, 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 to know you are following. Just write yes, if you are following, please. Let me see it on your chat, boss. Yes, okay, 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 okay. One more, one more, okay, good, 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 good. All right, all right, let me go back to where we are coming from, which is the Binance. Now, this is my Boligua bound and the RSI, I've shown you where you're going to see the figure of RSI. Now, if this figure is this particular figure, this 51.1 is what we are looking at. Now, how do I come about this 51.2 or 51.5? It's telling me the movement of this particular last red candle, the movement within the last 24 hours, how high it has gone to, how pump people have pumped it, how traded within the last 24 hours? How many people got engaged? What is their vote? Do you know how they vote on Binance? It is their purchasing power that votes this RSI. It is their purchasing power. RSI is being measured by the numbers of the traders and the capital they got involved on that coin. 
that is when you are going to have if you have more capital and more trader in the in the in the trade i mean on that particular coin trading that particular coin that at that moment you will have your rsi above 44 upward you might have 70 you might have 80 you might have uh, 100 at times but let me tell you whenever you see your rsi please note this whenever you see your this is your rsi this is rsi 6 if it's greater than 44 the number you are seeing at the front of that six now it has gone back to 50 I'm telling you it's coming down so now whenever you see that rsi above 44 my brother it is a good coin but you need to wait for that candle to come down it's telling you that that candle is still on the high side that particular coin is still on the high side you can't trade it for now if you trade it for now it will still fall it will still go down a bit before it will rebound except there is a further pump in the price of bitcoin except there is a further pump in the price of bitcoin but as it is now if bitcoin remains 41,300 and something that we see, we saw the other time. This particular candle or this particular coin will still go down because, as it is, some people are taking their profit. They are selling. And you, you want to buy. You want to buy what they are dumping. So you need to wait. That is why you will see it at times. I will be online 247. I might not put, post a signal. I might not post a particular coin. I, for me to post, I would rather send you a news, tell you what is going on in the world. Then forget about posting a coin and a lot of people will be chatting me do won't we have a signal today won't we have the, they don't know what i'm looking at i'm actually looking at some coin i have list of coin that i do look into i will list them around 12 a.m in the night then start looking at some indicators looking at how i'm going to analyze them till 4 a.m then when i wake up when i see a green light around 2 a.m 3 a.m and i post it to the group that you should enter it so now whenever you see your rsi above 44 my dear brothers and sisters don't go into that trade now just spend it down pen it down write it down okay this is a good coin royal key was actually pick pointed for me that is a good coin but binance is telling me that it's still on high side so i need to wait for the next candle to form now we can't wait for the next candle to form on 24 hours that's another day so you now go to your 24 your four hours candle and look at the rsi now, let me tell you something before we move to that. I want to tell you the meaning and the usefulness of this Boligua band. This Boligua band. Now, this is number one Boligua band, the down one, this one, which is purple. I don't know the color you have on your own. This is the purple. It has a meaning. This one also has a meaning. This one also has a meaning. But I don't make use of two. Oh, 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 that you guys will not be saying, why, why do I love? making use of two 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 numbers is because i won't teach you what i don't know i can't be teaching you what i don't know it is what i teach you it is what i know that will teach you so now i only know the meaning of this then how to use this so i'm going to make use of this two for you and how you are going to observe it now how do you observe these two lines these two bulugua band is three actually but I only make use of the up the, the highest one and the lowest one. The yellow one, this this one is telling me that that is the highest. You know, in technical analy uh, ana, uh, uh, explanation, they will they will tell you that they have resistance and support. I do use this uh, yellow boligua band, the upper one, as my resistance. Yes, it might not be the real meaning, but I use it as my own resistance. Do you know why? If you look at this chart from here, look at the movement of this candle. Look at it. Look at it. There's something that is peculiar to this yellow. And what is it? Let me show you. Let me clear this. Now, look at it very well. Look at it very well. You can check your own candle. You look at it. Now, the movement of this candle, let me go, let me go back a little now to, to see what, to, to actually tell you what, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm telling you. Now, to know why I'm using it as my own resistance. Now, Look at this candle. Look at these two candles. This red and green. Now, one is higher than the other. The red is higher. He's telling me at this point in time that whenever you see any candle, the last candle touching this Boligua band, the top one, there must be a retracement. Go and check it anywhere. Go and check all your candles. 
whenever it's touching this place, it will retrace down. Look at it here. Look at it here. It touches it. It might break it a little bit, but it's coming down. It won't go higher. It will come down under this Boligua band. It will come back here, here again, then touch it again, then come down. You see, it's coming down. Whenever there is a touch to this Boligua band, there must always be a retrace downward. Telling you, at this point in time, at this point in time, this particular coin has done its all-time high. Has done its all-time high. That is the reason why you are having it touching the line. It has been pumped. So it's no go area for me at that moment. I can't go, I can't go near it. I might be, I might be monitoring the coin. Now, I only use this, this to tell you that what I'm saying as I have confirmed it, and a lot of people have confirmed it for me as well. So now look at the movement. Look at the movement. Now you can see that. The moment this the, the, the moment of this candle was about to touch this place, touch here, it retraced. It's coming down. It has come down. It comes down. Now that, that leads us to the usefulness of this one. This one. The usefulness of this one. Now I will tell you if they are word and opposite, they are word and opposite, telling you that whatever happens here will happen here. Meaning, the meaning of whatever happens here that will happen here is that whenever you have your candle coming down, coming down, and it touches this place. Let me clear this. Touches this purple boligua band. There is going to be a bounce. There is always a bounce. So it is better for you to pick a coin that is almost at the top or very close to this last boligua band. This, this one, this particular one. This player has on this red candle now. This red candle is touching this place to a light, a light. Sorry to say that. <laughs> anyway, it is not a foul language. It, uh, uh, I will venture into it immediately. I will, you will see me posting it to the group that enter this as a social percentage. I will tell you, enter this trade because my candle, my, uh, the price has gotten to the floor level. So the worst that will happen at this point is for the candle to break that purple line and come to this place. Then the next thing, you will see a bounce. You will see the candle bouncing up. Then going on by, it will be going on by. There is nothing that will stop it. Then before you can see you retracing, it will either cross this one, the middle one, get to the middle of this place. Why this yellow one will be trying to, you know, negotiate with it before you will see it falling again. That is what I'm using this Boligua band for. I want to see if my last candle is on the, is touching the last uh, Boligua band downward. Then if it's not touching the hop one, no good. It's a good candle for me. It's a good coin for me to trade. Then is it touching the last floor, which is my support? Actually, it's not the support on a technical class, but to me, it's my support. To me personally, I can say maybe that is my own philosophy. It is my own support because I don't know how to, to, to analyze coin or trade technically. But sentiment and fundamental is what I got little idea of. Now. Now, once I get this information that this is my last candle for one day, it's not touching it. I'll go and look for four hours. Is four hours touching it? Let's let's check. This is four hours. My four hours is still away a bit. I mean, uh, 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 a little far away from this. It's a little far away from here, but that might not stop me from venturing into that coin. But what will actually stop me from venturing into that coin? is my RSI number. Look at it, it's 54, still on the high side. It's still on the high side. It's still on the high side. So I will look away from here. Then if, I see, if I'm still not convinced, I will click on one hour candle. Let's go to one hour candle. That's if I'm taking a lot of our time. I will click on one hour candle. Now, this is our one hour candle, perfect. Now look at what is happening here. Look at what is happening here. Look at what is happening here. Look at it. Just look at this place. Look at it. The two Boligua band, both the top and the down one, are coming together, telling you the coin, uh, the last candle is finding its way to the down one. And that yellow candle is trying to, you know, negotiate with it. But actually, this particular trade is coming down. The only reason why this candle will not come to, to itself or to the floor level 
is the price of your Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is moving up, this red candle will change to green. It will always be on a buy, meaning that Bitcoin is being pumped somewhere and other altcoins will be pumped as well. So that is the only reason that will make this coin not to touch your down floor. But if it's like this, I will wait for like in the next 30 minutes or one hour because the next candle that will be forming in the next one hour will actually be below this red candle. The next one is going to be a red candle. It's going to be below the last red candle. It's going to be below. Then you check your RSI. This is 40, 47 now, below what we have on four hours, one day candle. Now we have 44, it's still far away from me. Though I can enter this coin now, I can enter it because there is a tendency for me that uh, Bitcoin might go up now, then it will push it from here and the RSI will continue to increase. That doesn't stop me because now, my last Bolivar band is touching, is almost at the tip of, that last, of the last candle. So telling me that there is going to be a, a rebound if Bitcoin actually appreciates. I don't know if you are following. I don't know if you are following. If Bitcoin actually appreciates at this moment, this particular coin will rebound at this moment from this 48, 47 RSI. It will rebound up. It will rebound up. It will start appreciating. So if Bitcoin is not appreciating, my dear brother, you need to wait for the last candle to touch your last Bolivar band. Forget about Bitcoin. If your last candle is touching your last Bolivar band, just forget about it. Go enter the trade. Bitcoin will soon be pumped. It will also push your coin. It will push your trade. So good. Now we are done with that. We are still coming back to Binance. Mind you, we are still coming back to Binance. And what are we coming to do? We are coming to check one thing. We are coming to check one thing, which is the last step. On Binance. Now, before we do that, there is another there is another application that we need to visit before you make your decision again. And those applications, they are two. They serve the same purpose, but the same purpose they serve, they get their information. They get what we need from different sources. At times, it might be the same source, but they provide us more information. And what are these information? They are sentiment information that you need because fundamentally, if you want to analyze a coin or a trade, you got to look, you are talking about what a particular country or region or continent, what their economy, their inflation uh, movement, their unemployment, their uh, uh, price exchange, their stock, what is this saying? That is what we call fundamental. You, 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 you listen or you enter the market virtually from the information you get online from your tools to know what is actually happening in the Western world, in Africa, in Asia, in Australia. How do you get to know them? So that is when we come to the next two uh, um, uh, tools that we need. Now, what are the tools? Is They are called uh, crypto panic. I believe we have that. I believe we have that. Now, before we get to crypto panic, I want to ask us a question on Binance. I want to ask us a question. I want to ask us a question. I want to ask us a question. And the question is, do we get what I said on Binance? I just want to see your yes. Do we get all what I said so far on Binance? Do we get it? Do we get it? I want to see your yes. I want to see your yes. Okay. I want to see your yes. I want to see your yes. Okay. 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 Good. Good. All right. Good. Now, let's go to the next tools, which is a uh, crypto panic. Now, let's go to crypto panic. Crypto panic. Crypto panic. Here it is. This is it. This is it. It's loading. This is crypto panic. This is crypto panic. This is crypto panic. Now, this crypto panic is going to tell you the news around the world about cryptos. We are not trading for it, though what we are doing is forest, but in crypto world. Now, the news you are going to find here is going to be on cryptos. Now, why are we here? We want to check if that particular coin, BCH, there is any news within the last 24 hours or one hour or four hours that has to do with Bitcoin cash. Now, you scroll up. Before you can scroll up, you need to do your settings. Let me show you how to do some certain settings here. Now, this is how you to do some certain settings. When you launch your crypto panic like this, you look at this place. 
this place, you see top 10, top news. Good. Then you look at this place, you see? Show her. No, you're not going to change that. That's not what we need. We don't need all. We need some particular information. And what are the particular information we need? We actually need top, top news, one. Then here, you're going to change it to, you're going to, to use it to navigate this application. Now, how do you use it to navigate? Well, when you click the arrow at the front of that show hall, it would have a drop down like this. You have a drop down like this. It drop down. Now, good. You see, commented, most commented. Do you want to talk about, do you want to use how people are commenting on this, going to decide how to enter your trade? No. We only need, if this coin is going to go bearish or bullish. So I will click on bearish. I want to see if they mention anything that has to do with bearish movement on BCH. Now, look at it. We only have five hours ago, Apple user loses losses $650,000 in, in a second as iCloud Arc exposed Metamax. Okay, that one is all about uh, Apple users. We are looking for BCH. BCH, we only have Ethereum. For you to be fast about that, for you to be fast about that, this is where you're gonna know if you have BCH. Look at this place. You will see the name of the coin they're talking about. Here, yeah, at this and at this end, you will see the name of the coin they're talking about. Wow. You'll see it. So it will make you navigate this application very fast. You can see Ethereum here. You can see Ethereum here. You see Ethereum axis there. You see BTC. You see Litecoin, Bitcoin, BTC, Ethereum. They were, they were talking about the two. Bitcoin drops below forty thousand. That was a one day. That was last, last uh, yesterday. Now Bitcoin is is above forty thousand. Now. We don't have it. We don't have it for the past one day or four hours, five hours, nothing like that. We don't have Bitcoin cash. So people are not actually talking about Bitcoin cash as a bearish coin. Now let's talk, let's take your bullish trend. What is trending in the bullish news? Now, do we have, we have Shiba, massive Shiba bond expected as Shiba Inus Metaverse Gada pays. You see this this news. I will write it down. I will write Shiba. I will now go. I will go to my drawing board. I will go to my app other tools to confirm the movement of Shiba. I can actually use this information on Shiba to trade Shiba. But I will do. I will do other verifications about Shiba. And the verification has to do with what we have been talking about. And coupled with the other one that we are here to get to. So now Terra becomes a top ten can, uh, contender after beating Cardano. It's actually telling you that Cardano has lost its space in the crypto world for the last four hours. Cardano might either be going down now or be little appreciating little, little, little. The momentum is low because Nuna has taken the hedge. Now that is not where we are going. I'm just trying to tell you how you can find meanings to all this. Coin. Like four hours ago, Cardano Network had 100,000 wallets in a month amid the ROC20 converter to launch. Now, it's just a threat for Cardano when they launch this Ethereum. But for them to be in the market, they have to launch another 100,000 uh, 100, wallets. And for the ROC to be on a favorable side for, uh, favorable side for Cardano, when they launch this 100,000 uh, wallet, it's going to boost their coin that moment because a lot of people are coming. 100,000 worth of wallets have been opened. So telling you the movement of different coins, that is what uh, Crypto Panic is doing. Telling you the information in the world, around the world, around the globe, concerning the trade you were doing. Because let me tell you, either we like it or not, what we are trading is fundamental. It is the news that we are trading. It is what people say. For the past one week or two weeks now, crypto traders has been uh, has been panic has been panicking they sell whenever they hear uh, especially the whales america want to release a particular news uh, australia want to release their own news canada want to they quickly sell off their positions waiting for that news to come out telling you that they are actually trading news so now now just a moment my phone is almost off i want to i want to put it on so as I was saying, as I was saying, sorry, just a moment so that we won't lose this connection. So I was saying, uh, we are actually trading. Who many charge our phone? 
So now we are actually trading news. Now, when you don't see, if you are unable to see any news that has to do with uh, um, that has to do with uh, uh, BCH, any news that has to do with BCH in Bearish, my dear brother, definitely you have your BCH in bullish momentum. So you have it in bullish momentum. You have it in bullish momentum. Either we like it or not, because there is no news that has to do with BCH for the last 24 hours or one day or four hours uh, uh, in bearish. But we don't see it in people, a lot of people will be asking that. That's, that's why the fact we don't see it in, a, in a, a bearish, neither do we see it in a, a bullish. But don't, be, don't, 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 don't panic if you don't see it. There is another news that affected it. It might not be here, or the news might have been in place maybe 48 hours ago, or two days ago, or three days ago, or for adventure, it is the movement of Bitcoin that is pushing it high. So whenever you don't see it here, leave the application, then you, you go to the next app, which is, then our next app is um, uh, investing.com. Investing.com is of two phases. There is a particular one for FX, forex trading. That one deal, is dealing with uh, uh, stock, stock market, the bonds and all that, the uh, normal general um, forest class, uh, traders. So, but this one, we have um, investing.com for cryptos. You have it like this, investing.com, cryptocurrency data and tools. See now, oh, oh my God, I have not logged in. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me see if we can use it with, without logging in. Logging in. Okay, now. We can make use of it without logging in. Now, this is how the investing.com looks like. It's telling you the price of every coin as they are moving, as they are moving, as they are moving. You can see that from, from the list, from Bitcoin down, I don't think you can see Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin Cash. You will see it's there, it's there. When you start scrolling it down the, 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 the list, you will see it there. But that's not where we are going to. What are we? Why are we here? The reason why we are here is to read news about Bitcoin Cash. Now you click your news. Where can you find the news? This is it. This is it. This is it. That is where you are, you are going to find your news. You click on it. You want to check if there is a particular news that was not listed on Crypto Panic, but maybe for adventure it was listed on uh, uh, Investing.com. Now look at the way they posted their own news. Silver Gate Bank revenue soar in one quarter as institutional crypto trading activities falls. That was two hours ago. That one, it has a meaning, but it's not in relation to the coin we are here for. Now, let's scroll down if we can find anything on uh, Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. There's no news about on Bitcoin Cash. On Bitcoin Cash. Uh -huh. That that reminds me. That reminds me. Uh, th there was a time I mentioned on Crypto Panic. I mentioned Shiba. If you recall, if you if you can recall that when we were trying to select our coin on Royal Q on that uh, professional, you will see that Shiba is the second less performing coin. So now you have a news for it on uh, Crypto Panic. It's telling you that something in particular or pertaining to buying uh, Shiba, you can trade it when you do other uh, research about it at that particular time. So now we are trying to look for BCH. BCH, BCH, BCH Bitcoin, so, okay, it's not BCH. We are looking for BCH news. Bitcoin price prediction for come before the storm. Bitcoin volatility versus pre bull break, breakout. Now look at this particular news. Is telling us that we should calm. We are almost close to our bullish momentum. That is what it's telling us. Now, let us only want to read, read this coin, uh, this news. Just click on it like this. That is not the news we are looking for, but I just want to tell you. Bitcoin bounce back from the high, high area of around 30,000 and trend and to the upside of it is current range. Now, the first crypto by market cap managed to trace back its weekend losses. Telling you that Bitcoin, people are coming back to it, coming back to it. So we are 
this is not the, if you want to read in full details, you read along, you can read everything, but that's not the reason we are here. We are looking for Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash is not here, I guess. It's not. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. Bitcoin back to 40K. It's not here. It's not here. Because we have moved up to nine hours, 14 hours, nine hours, 10 hours, like that. So we don't have Bitcoin Cash. So we now move back to the Baba that want to tell us the percentage you want to take from this Bitcoin Cash. Because we are going to trade this Bitcoin Cash now. You are going to trade it. And let's see the result we are going to get tomorrow. We are all going to trade this Bitcoin Cash this night. Yes, forget about the candle. I will tell you the reason why we are going to trade it now. Now, there's no coin that is against Bitcoin Cash bullish, and there's no coin supporting it being bearish. So now, we want to check the last application or tools, which is the Nomics. You know, Nomics, the application is not, uh, is not mobile friendly. So we look, you log in through your mobile browser, either uh, um, Google Chrome or whichever browser you are using. So you write nomics.com, nomics, nomics.com, 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 nomics.com. This is the application it has launched. If you are using it for the first time, on your browser it we oh thank god this one is actually giving me what i want okay okay we have actually set it and what was the setting the settings has to do with you clicking on your because before before sorry before this um this uh, crypto uh, nomics will not display what we are looking for here like this if you didn't put it on desktop version and where do you see your desktop version? You click here, this arrow. So once you click the arrow, once you click the arrow like this, you will scroll down, you will see. You see now, my own has been marked as desktop uh, site. So whenever I visited any site, it's going to give me the desktop version as if I'm using my PC or laptop. So, so that will give us all the information we need on uh, Nomis. Now, and what are the information that we need? Let's quickly go to the business. Later, later, madam. So now, you if you are launching this application or if you are visiting this site for the first time, this is how you are going to see your, this is how you are going to see your price prediction because this is where we are where we want to do our justice. This is where we want to do the justice to uh, that coin, that BCH. This is where we want to take our percentage, the percentage you want that you can actually go for. This is where you want to take it. Now. This seven days prediction, Bitcoin, this price, to, for you to know that Bitcoin is the driver of everything. On Nomics, they lock Bitcoin. And the moment they lock Bitcoin, all coin will not display their price, their prediction. It will not display. So how do you unlock? How do you unlock? This is, you just click this unlock. It will display all the, all the, all the, all the price. Now, let me click. you see it. OK, so sorry. Coming. So actually, this is the first time I'm using this. This is not my phone anyway. So um, my phone is down. So um, you click this. OK, it's actually actually not because I'm using this Nomics on this phone for the first time. It's asking me to click that acknowledgement, to sign that uh, times and conditions. So once you click it, it will go up. For, the, for those that are using it for the first time on their device. Now. We have all the price unlocked. You see the price they predicted for. Let me zoom in so that you can see the name of those coins. Try to manage my screen, please. Now, look at those price. This is where you're going to see the price of the predicted price. This is it from here. Oh, what's this? Come on. Translate stock.com. No, 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 no. Sorry. Okay, now we are back. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to load that page again. Okay, now we are back. We are back now. So now this is where this is where this is where you are going to see. This is where you are going to see. 
the price, the predicted price. The current price is here, but the predicted price is what we are looking for. This is the current price of Bitcoin. This is the current price of Bitcoin. This is the current price of Bitcoin. This is the current price. The current price of Bitcoin. This is the predicted price around 1 a.m. as they call it. But to me, it is it wasn't 1 a.m. They update, they used to update this application. It is exactly 12 um, 2 a.m. in the night. But when you are checking their information, they will write 1 a.m. Nigerian Lagos time, African Lagos time. No. So that you won't just deny yourself from sleeping by 1 a.m. If you want to check a predicted price and the current predicted price for a particular coin in the night, wake up by 2 a.m. in the night. This particular uh, uh, price will have been updated. This price you are seeing here, the pre pre predicted price will have been updated, 2 a.m. So what I do is, I set my alarm to two, uh, 158, so I'm up by 2 a.m. By 2.10, I'm on my system or on my phone, checking the price. So now, now this is where you're going to see the predicted price. This line, this line, this line. This is where you're going to see the predicted price. Now we are looking into BCH. So where is BCH? Let's see. Let's check the, the list. BCH, BCH. You can confirm your uh, nomics when you register through your email. You can list all the coins available on Royal Q. Now, those are the coins you want to see by clicking on this favorite. Uh, I mean, wish list. When you sign in, you click on this wish list. So you will see a place where you can add those coins. Then it will have you, it will ask you to log in. When you log in, you will now be able to use this wish list. So you can add all the coins. That is being listed on Royal Cube so that you now have all the 4,000 or 3,000 coin we have in the crypto space listed there for you so that you can quickly negotiate between the coin you are looking for. Now, we are looking for BCH. Now, along this line, this is the list. This is the list. Sorry. This is the list. This is the list of the coins. Now, this is where we're going to see the coin name. Now, you go down, you try, this is Ethereum, number one, number one is Bitcoin, followed by Ethereum, Theta, Binance, UCC, USDC, SRP, Solana, Terra, sorry, Terra, Cardano, we are looking for PCH. PCH is what we are looking for. PCH is what we are looking for. PCH, 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 where is PCH? We want to check now, this is it, number 28. BCH is 28. BCH is 28 on the list. This is it. This is it. And this is what you need. Now, how do you how do you make use of this? This is how to make use of it. You click on this caution. Sorry. 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 You click on this culture. Let me zoom out. You click on this, this culture, this culture, this culture sign. Click on it. Click on this culture sign. Click on this culture sign. When you click, you see what it will display for you. Now let's click. Let's click. Now it's telling me that they are predicted price of Bitcoin Cash around 1 a.m. African Lagos time. Is three hundred and fifty-two. Three hundred and fifty-two dollars. Now, after that, they tell us that the, that time when they were predicting this price, what was the, the current price of Bitcoin? Uh, BitCH. Then, this is the current price. This is the current price. Look at it here. Three forty-one. Meaning that this coin will do three percent higher above this price before within the next 24 hours when this coin was being predicted around 2 a.m nigerian time but to them 1 a.m their own nigerian time i will call it their own nigerian time but it is 2 a.m nigerian time so now they tell us they are telling us that uh, this price will go higher with three percent arriving at this 
price. That is when they arrive at this price. Now, you can recall that currently, 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 the, 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 the so coin, the current price of that BCH is even, is as if it's even higher. Okay, it's not higher. Okay, it's $338 now. Okay, now, for you to know, if you can still take this 3% of this market, you can still take 2.5 of this market with the information you just got from Nomics. All you need to do, that is the reason why I said you still need your Binance. That is the last phase of confirmation you are going to do on Binance. Now, you go back to Binance. Now, you go back to Binance. Where is our Binance? Okay, there it is. This is Binance. You go back to Binance. And why are we here? The reason why we are here is to confirm if this coin, this particular coin, has done 352 they predicted before now, before you are trying to go into it or you are trying to analyze it for the next coin to trade. Then, if this coin has actually done the all time high and it has gotten to that 52, 52, I think it's 352 dollars point something they predicted. Now, how do you check? You go and check your 24 hours candle 24 hours candle 24 hours candle now what's the time this is 10 p.m meaning that uh we are 22 hours uh holder i mean 20, 20, 22 hours old in today's dates in today's uh, time this is 2200 the time as in the normal 24 hours time now the, that means the last candle is being formed okay no sorry sorry you need our our candle one hour candle sorry we need one hour candle one hour candle now when was the time that normics predicted this uh uh this they are 352 of three percent high when did they predicted it you now trace your your candle forget about the last candle what we are looking for is the highest candle and which one is the highest candle? The one with 43, I mean 343.0. And where do we have it? This is it. Today. I will show you the date. I will show you the date. Now, this is where you see, this is where you see the highest performed candle for today. Now, if you doubt that, let's click on, let's just long press on that candle. You will see it will give you the more full details of that candle. The the highest it has gotten to before it dropped. Now look at it. Look at it. You can see it. You can see it here. Binance will take this off. You can see it here. Three oh, it's off. Okay, let me let me let me try to do that again. Now look at open the, this coin. Oh no, not the one, not that one. The highest one. Sorry, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, now this particular candle opened around 1 a.m. You can see now that was the time they predicted it. And the highest price, the open price was 340, 340 dollars. Let's click it again. Let's click that candle again. 340 dollars point 40 cent and four cent. Now the highest the candle has gotten to is 340 dollars. Now, what are we seeing here when you what do, what do you see here? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this price. What you saw here? What you saw here is actually $343. $3 okay. Meaning that if you want to compare that price with the price they predicted, it means that um, Bitcoin Cash has not done what they predicted. Rather, it has done a little bit closer to $352. Meaning, now it has gone down, but eventually, if Bitcoin is going higher, it will still come and hit that 352. No doubt about it, it will hit it. So, what you do is you now calculate that 3%. That is the reason why you need to come back to Binance to come and confirm the highest candle to, for you to know when or uh, uh, the, the coin you are tracing has actually done the highest uh, all time high. And this all time high has it gotten to the price they predicted? If it has gotten to that price, my dear brothers and sisters, do away with that coin for that day. Maybe you wait for the next 24 hours, for the next 24 hours prediction. You understand? You can pick another coin or you wait for that particular coin to fall down, 
then go and check the next day prediction. Now, at times they will predict a certain price for a particular coin. It will not hit that price and it will go down. The reason is Bitcoin actually fell when it hit its all time high for that day before getting to the predicted price. It will fall, it, it has fallen. That is why that particular coin does not hit the target they predicted. And at times it will go higher above time, more than times 10 of what they predict, predicted. It will go times 10 higher than what they predicted. That one is happening as a result of the movement of Bitcoin as well. So please, I need us to understand that very well. I need us to understand that very well. So that when you see a predicted coin not being what they predicted, go and check the, point, the price of your Bitcoin. When you see the price they predicted is higher and what, they, what the current price is more higher or what the coin has done for that day is higher than what they predicted. What they predicted, that means Bitcoin is actually doing, it's performing well, excellently. So those are the two conditions that is attached to you no know, mixed predictions and all that. Now, after doing all this, we are done already. We are done. Now, here, this coin has not done 352. No, as it got into the least uh, low, low, hard low that we can venture into. But as it is now, I can trade it. The reason is, number one, all my news does not tell me that it's going to go bearish. No, they tell me it's going to go, um, uh, what's it called? Um, um, south. That is what we call south, not south in uh, crypto time. When I mean south, at times you might be seeing it on my right up. South means your coin is going down. North means your coin is going up. No, you know, on your polar uh, four cardinal points, you have your north on the upside, then you have your south on the downside. So, if this coin has not done the predicted price and Bitcoin is doing fine, definitely I can venture into this into this coin as a one shot for me right now. So, Bitcoin is actually doing fine. And how do you confirm that now? Let's go back and check the price of Bitcoin currently. That's the last confirmation you need. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, where are you? BTC against USDT. Where are you? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now, this is Bitcoin. We have 41,270. Let me check the candle. Is it going down or up? Quickly, I want to check the, the candle for Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is retracing. My dear brother, you enter BCH, but in the next one hour, come and check your BCH before you enter it. You will notice that is it that Bitcoin goes up or it comes down. If Bitcoin is coming down, maybe the next one hour candle or 15 minutes candle of Bitcoin. If it is a bearish candle, definitely BCH will have a bearish candle. Next. If your one hour candle of uh, uh, of the, ne the next one hour candle of uh, Bitcoin is bullish, you are going to have a bullish. But for the fear of missing out at this particular point in time on BCH that we have analyzed, you can take a little percentage out of it with, let's say, 20% of your capital, just try it. Just 20% of your capital right now, what you have in your wallet, use it to try BCH. Because actually it has not gotten to the bottom that we that is suitable for us. But we want to trade it because we have some indicator that said we should go for it. Good. But don't put too much percentage on it. Do you know why? If you put higher percentage, Nomics indicated 3%. Now, if you now put 2%, and don't, don't forget that it has done almost that 3% before it restrains downward. Now, if you are putting 3% or 2%, you might likely not hit your target between, between now and next week. The reason is the coin might be ranging based on the movement of Bitcoin. It might be ranging. So for you to be on the safer side, just you can pick 1%. That's the least you can pick on Royal Cape. You can't pick less than 1%. Now, let me tell you one secret about how I pick my percentage again, ap apart from uh, checking candles. The moment I see like 20, let me, let, me, let me go to a particular coin that has that, that information on Nomics. Let me check, let me tell you, you see. Any coin that uh, react, uh, Nomics predicted, and it has more than 10% increase. What they predicted is more than 10% increase. My dear brothers and sisters, I will venture 2.5 into that trade as my TP. 2.5. Let me check if you have any. Let me check. Let me check. 90, 99. Okay. Let's check Terranuna. Let's assume we are trading Terranuna on a, on a um, um, uh, Royal Q. Let's assume we have it 
and click on that culture. Now, they said Tirana is going to do plus eight. No, it's too low. If I want to take this now, I'm going to take 1.5 or 1.6 because I wouldn't want everything. I don't want everything. I only want little. I need little that will, that will just release my money back to me within a within short, uh, short while. So let me look for another coin that is doing well, that has high uh, fiction, 18, 18, 99, 101, 111. Solana, let's check Solana. Is also eight. Solana is also eight. Let's check which one. So minus two. No, 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 no. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. I'm trying to show to Ross how I change my percentage. How I determine my percent Monero. Okay, eight. Okay, let's assume we have it. Let's assume we got this eight at 18, 20. I'm gonna pick 3.5, 3 percent. I yes, 5 percent. But if I'm having anything lesser than 10% as their own prediction, as their own uh, predict, uh, predicted change, I will not pick more than 2.5. And mind you, again, if I'm posting 2.5 to you as one short signal, I'm not expecting you to enter with 2.5. The reason is, the time at which I enter into, I enter that particular trade, you might not be online. You might not be there. I might have not posted it then when I was writing it. And that might be a little to change, either upward or downward. Before I posted it, before you see it, before you enter it, before you even click start or set the trade up, that percentage might have changed. So I was expecting you to take lesser percentage from my 2.5. So that is that on uh, nomics and all, all uh, application that we have. So um, our, our, I think we actually learned, learned this night. So if my, I don't know if my class is not um, not that boring or uh, I, I don't know how to put it anyway, to tell you that this is the only way I know that I can teach you what you, are, what you need to know with the information I'm using for those of us that are taking my signals. This, there is no rocket science behind it. There is no abracadabra, there is nothing. I only sit down, analyze this coin with all these tools. So my dear brothers and sisters, uh, I believe I have taken much of our time and I'm sorry, but it's for our own good. So now I will, oh my God, okay. Some people said they can't see my screen. Is, it, is that true? Is that true? Oh. Anyway, I'm done with the screen sharing. Anyway, I'm done. I don't know the aspect where you all missing, but I'm done with the screen, uh, with the practical aspect. So the next one is to get the feedback from you now. Now, um, um, never mind. I can't. OK, OK. OK, screen. OK, OK. Screen is clear. OK, all right. Thank you. Now, what I'm saying, what, uh, we, we have actually come to the end of the uh, uh, explanatory aspect. Now, I want us to go home, take that BCH, but wait for it for the next one hour. Let's see the next movement of the next candle before you enter into it. And I want to see people's results tomorrow. I want to see if we we'll actually get out of that trick. If we are not getting out tomorrow, mind you, crypto uh, business or for, uh, crypto trading actually need Patience. If you are not patient enough, you will lose your money. You will lose your money. And if you lose your money, don't complain that it's Royal that lost your money. No, it is you that is not being patient. So now, so now I will, uh, before our question, before our question, I would like our boss, uh, much money, to, you know, uh, say one or two things before we start asking our question. Then, if he's going to give us uh, permission to ask our question first, let's hear from him first. So much money. The floor is yours now. Thank you, Mr. Neozek. In fact, you are such a wonderful leader. You have done a great job for tonight. You have Thank done you just to almost every. Thank you for the introduction of uh, investment.com and other things they have introduced for tonight. Our mm -hmm. Things like you have said, so I won't talk much for tonight. So maybe every other things I'm going to discuss will be for next week, because okay. by next week, we'll talk about the money management, 
Uh, now you can play around your one shot without getting stuck. And okay. how you can combine cycle with your one shot and how you can have the for basic knowledge of technical analysis okay. fundamental analysis. So okay. that one will be next week because our time is past spent already. So okay. with that we allow people to ask questions for tonight and call it today for tonight. Thank you, you're welcome. I commend you, well done. You're welcome, sir. So question, please.